Hi YouTube, my name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I am 24 years old. I was laid off in March and I have a job lined up for the end of April and I'm going to be budgeting the like some unexpected money. And I say it's unexpected because um, I got my severance in March and I thought that was the whole package, but turns out there was just a little bit more um, that they were going to give me. And then I also got unemployment uh, for the time that I was searching for, a, well, <laughs> for the time that I'm still unemployed. Um, so I am just gonna go over that budget um, and if this is the first time you are seeing my channel, hello and welcome. If you are also a budgeting channel, please leave me a comment down below so that I can check out your channel and hopefully other people can check out your channel as well. So I was supposed to start my new job this week, actually, the time that I'm filming this, but it got moved back just a little bit, but that is totally okay with me. Um, so I just have like an extra week. Um, so this unexpected money um, is going to be only stuffing for week weeks three and four in April. So I just want to, I'm going to just add this amount onto whatever I already budgeted to stuff for weeks three and four. So for the rest of my severance, I got $474. And then for my unemployment, it was... Nine hundred and forty-two dollars, and that's a lot. So this is quite a quite a bit of unexpected money. I'm gonna move everything over so you can see my calculator, my lovely calculator, and in total I have one thousand four hundred and sixteen dollars. I'll let you know that I have everything budgeted for bills already. I have my minimum monthly payments for my car loan and my student loan. So I'm gonna take this money and I'm gonna put a good chunk of it towards my um, car loan, a good chunk towards my emergency, uh, my emergency fund, and then the rest to whatever else I deem um, that I wanna save for. But before I get into all of that, in my previous video, I went and walked through my um, budget like sheets. Um, so I recently hit 1000 subscribers and I wanted to give back to the community. And some people do gift cards, some people do um, products from other Etsy shops, but I wanted to do something that everyone can kind of benefit from. So I, this is just a quick um, overview. I have some savings challenges. I have my budget breakdown that I use. Um, and I think they're, uh, yeah, this is a budget breakdown that I use, but then I also walked through a more like in-depth uh, budget breakdown. I have a few variants of it. I have a transaction log, a week by week, a bill breakdown, um, and a quarter overview, just quickly looking over everything. I go over this a little more in-depth in my previous video, but I just wanted to show you just so that if you are clicking on this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, and you want to try budgeting but don't know where to start, um, you can check out the video for a walkthrough. You can click on my link in the description and it'll show you a budget template. That This is the one that I use. And then other savings challenges that you can try out if you already have a layout that you like and also um, different uh, pages that you can try. So I just wanted to give... Um, some notice to that just in case anyone is interested in budgeting but don't know kind of what layout they like just something that you can try and it's free okay so getting back into this my income my unexpected income which i'm so grateful for one thousand four hundred and sixteen dollars so i'm just gonna go to my digital like i said everything is fully funded or is budgeted for um, May's bills already. But why don't I go ahead and put some money towards my car loan? And I was thinking um, I'll put around 30%. So that is 424, but I'm gonna round it up to 426 just so that uh, I don't have to deal with ones in any of my other categories. 
So for my car loan, I'm going to put an extra payment of $426. And that is a lot. This is a lot more than what I had budgeted for my May payment. Oh, sorry, for my April budget. Um, I budgeted $400. So this is awesome. And my minimum monthly payment is only $300. My goal this year is to put $4,500 towards my car loan to put me at $7,500. And this payment will, well, actually, in April, I will reach under ten thousand dollars and this one will even put me even more under ten thousand dollars and i'm just super excited because i feel like once i get to ten thousand dollars under ten thousand dollars i will just get so motivated to really pay that car loan down because it's a pretty high interest rate it's my highest it's 7.5 and then after that i only have to worry about my student loans and i am really excited to be close to paying this off. I'm just really excited. And I'm very proud of myself for having paid off that much. And I'm only a year into my loan and I'm really excited. Okay, next, this is my daily cash. I have mini cash envelopes that I use for everyday spending. Um, and I don't really need anything. Um, but I do want to give myself a little bit more eating out money and spending money uh, just because this is really unexpected. And I do want to give myself a little bit. So I'm just going to put $30 in total here. And if I subtract it, I am left over with $960. Now I want to put a good chunk towards my emergency fund. Um, I think by the end of April, I have $9,600. My goal is to get this to $10,000. So why don't I just go ahead and put $400 towards it and I'll just fully fund it by the end of April. That is crazy to say because I was fully expecting to fully fund it by the end of the year. Um, and I will do it after the first quarter. That is crazy to me, but I have this extra money, why don't I go ahead and just put it towards my emergency fund? All right, um, and that emergency fund uh, takes care of three months of expenses if I lose my income, which I did. Um, thankfully, I didn't need to tap into that because I did get severance and I was a little ahead on my bills, so I was totally okay. Um, and then I'm going to put some money towards medical. I'll just put $20 just because um, I am going to need some more allergy medication or allergy medicine. It is springtime. There is a ton of pollen out and I want to take my walks and I want to take my walks while being able to breathe. So I'm just going to put some money towards um, medical so I can get some allergy medicine. And in total... My savings portion has $420. I'll take that and subtract it from the 960. And I'm left with $540. All right. Now my gym, this is all okay. This is fully funded. I want to put some money towards my Roth IRA. None of this went into my 401k. I haven't been able to put anything into my 401k for a month and a half now. So I've been funding my Roth IRA. So I'm just going to put $80 uh, towards it and 80 in total. So I'll subtract 80. I'm left with 460. 460 and I kind of want to split it up between my sinking funds and my grouping binder. My grouping binder is basically just another savings binder, but um, I'm saving for specific categories um, within these bigger categories. I kind of want to split it between the two. So if I just divide that by two, 230, okay. So my goal is to have zero dollars left over because I want every single dollar to have a job. So here's what I'll do. Um, 
these are all my sinking funds. It's not a ton. Well, it's actually a good amount because I'm still focusing on my debt payoff. How I'm gonna do this is, um, okay. Well, I wanna put some money towards toiletries because I do need to get some products. I need to get some sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen if you do not. Even though it's cloudy, still wear your sunscreen. It's very important. So I'm gonna put $20 in here. I do need to get sunscreen and some face lotion. Um, you know, I kinda wanna give myself 100. Um, here, I need to get a new bike helmet. And this is just really unexpected and expected money. And I could put it towards other things, but I just, I kinda wanna be a little, a little, maybe, it's selfish maybe, but I kind of just want to give myself some money. I've really been restricting from my spending in the last month and a half. Um, and I think I worked hard to get a job in a month. And I think I deserve it. Uh, so $100 is just going to go to me to do whatever I want with. I can save it to get something in the future. Or I can spend it. Um, I might spend some of it because I, I brought my bike up from my hometown and I want to get a helmet, um, so that I can start biking to work whenever it gets really, really nice out. So I want to do that. Um, family, I want to put some money towards them. So I'm going to put $20. Um, and then gifts, Mother's Day is going to come up and then a, and then a birthday and then a graduation. So I'm going to put some money towards here. $40 and then I also want to put some money towards dates and then I want to put some towards this is a savings challenge for me basically for race tickets um, I am a motorsports fan so I just want to get some tickets to go to a race in the summertime so um, let me see what this is looking like right now so I have 20 40 twice, 100, and then 20 twice, 240. So pretty good. And I think I will just keep that. Okay. Um, and while I'm on this topic of sinking funds and why I didn't put it in other categories, clothes is fully funded, apartment is fully funded, Christmas, there's a good chunk and it's still a while away. Bulk food has $101, $100, um, and that's a pretty good amount for me. Hobbies, I don't think, I can just pull from my spending if I want to spend in hobbies. Mel's Paper Makes is my Etsy, and I already am putting some money in there because I got paid from, my, from the last month. And then household has $35, which is, I think, a good amount to have in there. Okay, so let's see how much I have for my last category, 220. So in my last section here, I have $220 going into four categories. The total should be 220 as well. Um, I don't wanna put anything towards my car because it's a pretty good I already put $200 towards it this month. And then the rest of this, I want to put 100 towards travel. Um, and then 120 left. Uh, I think I'll just split it between my friend's wedding and moving. All right, so that is pretty good to me. Um, and I know that totals two. 220. So now I get to see how much I like to do a, just a quick summary to see how much goes where. My daily cash, I put $30 here. Savings is 420 because I can see it here. Monthly expenses, those was 80. Leftover, nothing. Grouping, 220. Sinking funds was 240. 40, and then my digital, 426. So there is that. 
and this column off to the side here is to see um, percentages. So I will take the amount on this in this column and divide it by my income. So for digital, I have 30.1% um, so 31 30.1 percent of the income is going towards digital and that's going towards my car loan uh, I'll do that with digital cash that is 2.1 percent savings this is gonna be a big chunk as well 29.7 my monthly expenses, 5.6. My sinking funds is 16.9. And then my grouping binder has 15.5. Okay. So as you can see, Around 60, actually, let me do, let me, let me add this up first to make sure I kind of did everything correctly. This is just a final gut check and I'm expecting this to not be a hundred percent just because I did do some rounding. So I'm expecting some error and we did get some error. So 99.9, .9. it's not a hundred percent, but it is close enough because I was expecting error. So if I just do a quick gut check or a quick overview into everything, based on my summary, my income, $1,416. And I can see that I have 30% going into my car loan. I'm saving 30% to go, almost 30% to go into my um, emergency fund and my medical. I am spending really two plus 17, that's 19%. I'm saving, I'm not saving, I'm spending around 19%. Um, and then I'm putting 5.5% to my Roth IRA and then 15.5 into my short-term savings. So I'm saving a really big amount. I'm only really spending about 20% of it. And if you want to be really nitty gritty, it was $100 that I'm, well, actually $130 that I'm purely spending. And that is not even 10%. So I'm spending around 10% of this, like unexpected money. And I'm pretty proud of it. And I'm saving a pretty big chunk and putting the rest towards my car loan. So I am pretty content with where this is going. So then I will take this and put it towards my weekly spending or my weekly budget sheet and then add, add it to my week three cash stuffing and I will see you then. But remember, if you are wanting to try out budgeting and you don't know where to start, please check out my 1000 subscriber freebie giveaway. It's linked in my description. Check it out if you want and check it out if you want to try some savings challenges. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.